Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. As per the recent statement from United Nations, 9 million people are at the risk of displacement in which country? So this country is Ethiopia. The capital of Ethiopia is Addis Ababa. Now, as per a statement from UN OCHA, 9 million people are at the risk of displacement. Now, what is OCHA? It is United Nations Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. So it is a special United Nations body. Now, recently, Ethiopia was also in news because of Tigray region. The Prime Minister of Ethiopia is Abe Ahmad and in 2019 he was selected for Nobel Peace Prize. Sarnath Light and Sound Show has been inaugurated by Prime Minister in this state. So this was inaugurated in Uttar Pradesh and this was done by Prime Minister. Now recently Uttar Pradesh was also in news because of its campaign to spread awareness about stubble burning that how it is harmful for environment. Recently, one more campaign was in news and it was related to elephants. So, West Bengal government launched this campaign to prevent the electrocution death of elephants. That means death of elephants because of electric shock. Now, recently, one elephant rehabilitation center at Kotor was in news. Why it was in news? Because it is going to be the largest care and cure center for elephants in world. This Kotor is in Tiruvananthapuram district of Kerala. The model of anti-satellite missile system has been inaugurated in which city? So it has been inaugurated in New Delhi. This was done by Union Defence Minister and present Union Defence Minister is Mr. Rajnath Singh. So he inaugurated this at DRDO headquarters in New Delhi. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. So in 2019, DRDO conducted ASAT missile test. What is ASAT? It is anti-satellite missile test. That means this missile can destroy satellites. And this was done under Mission Shakti. Now recently, DRDO was also in news because of Dare to Dream initiative. It was also in news because of Rudram and because of Nag anti-tank missile. So these missiles can destroy the tanks. Which Indian company has launched the world's first CRISPR-Cas9 based diagnostic tool CHECK? So the name of this tool is CHECK and it is world's first CRISPR-Cas9 based COVID-19 testing. Now this CRISPR-Cas9 is related to DNA editing and this has been done by Tata Medical and Diagnostic. And for that purpose, it has collaborated with CSIR IGIB. What is IGIB? It is Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. What is CSIR? It is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Susha is located in which country? So it is a cultural city located near the Nagorno Karabakh region. And this is a disputed area between Armenia and Azerbaijan. A detailed video on this topic is already uploaded on Civil Academy channel. You can watch it by clicking the i button here. Now, there is a dispute between Armenia and Azerbaijan and dispute is related to this Nagorno-Karabakh region. Now, the Sasha city is considered as a part of Azerbaijan but it is populated and controlled by the ethnic Armenians. Recently, it was in news because President of Azerbaijan announced that the security forces of Azerbaijan has taken the control of this Shusha city. Which state is set to withdraw a section of its force from the border with Assam? So this was done by Mizoram. And in place of the local state security forces, BSF will be deployed. What is BSF? It is Border Security Force. So recently there was a meeting and this meeting was chaired by Home Secretary, who is present Union Home Secretary. He is Ajay Kumar Bhalla. And during that meeting, it was decided that Mizoram is going to withdraw its forces from the border with Assam and in place of that, BSF will be deployed. Apart from that, it was also decided that Assam will make sure that the blockade 
on NH306 will be lifted. So this is the bone of contention between these two states. Now BSF is paramilitary force. It is under MHA, that is Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently, Shushant Kumar Nath, that is SK Nath, was appointed as IG of BSF. BSF provides security to Indo-Pakistan border and Indo-Bangladesh border. Crown Prince Akishino has been proclaimed as the first in line as heir to the throne in which country? So it is Japan. Crown Prince Akishino is the younger brother of Emperor Naruhito. So he is the monarch of Japan. Now please read the difference between monarch and republic. So he is the monarch of Japan. Now in Japan only male can inherit the throne. Now this Japanese Emperor Naruhito do not have son and he have only one daughter. So as per the Japanese law, she cannot inherit the throne and that is why this crown prince is first in the line. Now recently Japan was in news because of quad as the quad meeting held in Tokyo in Japan. So quad members are India, Japan, Australia and USA. Recently USA was in news because of the presidential elections and Joe Biden has been elected as the 46th president of United Nations. Recently, USA was also in news because of Paris climate deal. So, USA officially left this Paris climate deal. This was signed during COP21 in Paris in 2015. In fact, ISC, that is International Solar Alliance, was also launched during this COP21. The headquarters of ISA is in Haryana in Gurugram. Recently, Haryana was in news as it passed a bill on right to recall panchayat members. Now, what does that mean? Suppose you elect the panchayat members and now they are not functioning properly. So, you have right to recall. That means you have right to remove them. You means the people of that particular panchayat. Apart from that, the Haryana government also provided 50% reservation to the women in rural bodies. Which bank has launched national common mobility debit card with the special features like tap and go and offline wallet. So it has been launched by Karnataka Bank. Karnataka Bank is Mangaluru based bank. So this national common mobility debit card is a rupee card. What is rupee? It is a card payment service which is launched by NPCI. What is NPCI? It is National Payment Corporation of India. Recently, NPCI was in news because it launched artificial intelligence based chatbot and the name of this chatbot is PAI. Recently, NPCI was also in news as it approved WhatsApp Pay. So it is a payment service launched by WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the entity of Facebook. Recently, WhatsApp was also in news as it officially launched disappearing message feature. It means the messages will disappear after a specified time period in the WhatsApp chat. Who has recently held a policy consultation with the Indian diaspora regarding India's science, technology and innovation policy? So, this consultation was under the chairmanship of Dr. Harshwadhan. He is the present science and technology minister. Now, what is the meaning of this term diaspora? It means Indian people who are living in the different parts of the world. Dr. Harshwadhan is our present health minister as well. Recently, he was in news because he was elected as the chairperson of Executive Board of WHO, that is World Health Organization. Recently, US quit World Health Organization. US was also in news because of its 2 plus 2 meeting with India. And during that meeting, BECA was signed. Which state has launched Aadhaar Enrollment Drive for the students of state? So this has been launched by Assam government. Aadhaar is unique identity and it is provided by UIDAI. That is Unique Identification Authority of India. So it is under MEITY. Now recently, Assam was also in news because of Tejpur Lichi. As recently it got GI tag. GI stands for Geographical Indication. Assam was also in news because of Bongai Gaon District. So this is a district in Assam and recently it launched Mission Sampoorn. So this mission was launched to improve the health of malnutrition kids. That means Better food facilities will be provided to such kids. Which country has recently brought major relaxation in Islamic laws? So this country is UAE. And after these relaxations, it allowed 
unmarried couples to cohabitate that means to live together it also lifted some restrictions on alcohol and it criminalized honor killings so this is being seen as the impact of western culture in uae recently uae was also in news because of ipl so this was 13th edition of ipl and it concluded recently as mi that is mumbai indians won the tournament mumbai indians also won the fair play award while the purple cap was given to kagiso rabada purple cap means highest wickets so kagiso rabada was the highest wicket taker and he is associated to delhi challengers orange cap was given to kl rahul orange cap is given for highest run while jofra archer became the most valuable player of the tournament and the captain of mumbai indians rohit sharma was given the game changer award in the final match again you need not to remember each and every detail about the tournament but these were the most significant so these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important news so first is khalifa bin salman al khalifa he was the prime minister of bahrain and he passed away recently he was the world's longest serving prime minister he was prime minister of bahrain since 1971 next is food coalition so it has been launched by fao that is food and agriculture organization headquarters is in rome in italy so this has been launched to address the covid-19 impact on the food systems and its impact on the agriculture next is sanchanaman limbo so he passed away recently he was a chief minister of sikkim that means he was former chief minister of sikkim next is kane spears so he was from usa he was well known editor and writer he passed away and he was known for his animation series scooby doo next is adil give hurun india philanthropy list so as per this list azim prem ji is on top position in terms of philanthropy please note that this list is of indians only so azim prem ji the founder and chairperson of wipro is on top position sivnadar of hcl is on second position and mukesh ambani of reliance group is on third position as per this philanthropy list next is tata literature lifetime achievement award so ruskin bond was selected for this tata literature lifetime achievement award next is 151st birth anniversary of gandhi ji so on the occasion of 150th birth anniversary of gandhi ji and to commemorate it nepal released a special pictorial anthology on gandhi ji and this anthology is written in nepali the prime minister of nepal is kp sharma oli president of nepal is vidya devi bhandari and indian ambassador to nepal is vinay mohan katara next is ott ott stands for over the top media service so it means the media content which is directly given to the users through internet so this amazon netflix all these are ott platforms why ott platforms were in use because now they are under government domain that means they are under the purview of government and inb ministry that is information and broadcasting ministry will be the nodal authority for the content management that means for the regulation it is important to note that ott platforms do not need certification from cbfc what is cbfc it is central board of film certification so usually when films are released in our country they need certification from cbfc but in case of ott no such certification is needed so there were certain demands that the content on these platforms is unregulated and that is why now it will be regulated by inb ministry next is priya gold so recently priya gold appointed kiara adwani as a brand ambassador next is 17th asean india summit so vietnam is the chair of asean for this year asean is a association of southeast asian nations and 10 countries are the members of this grouping these are bpl tv mm ICS so this is mnemonics for these 10 countries so the 17th meeting is going to be on 12th of november from indian side prime minister will attend this meeting next is 20th sco council of heads of state sco stands for shanghai cooperation organization headquarter is in beijing total 8 countries are the members of sco four central asian countries are the member except turkmenistan and then russia china india and pakistan are the members So recently the 20th SCO meeting of Council of Heads of States was organized it was under the presidency of Russia 
from Indian side, our Prime Minister attended this meeting. Next is Railways Hospital Management Information System. So recently, Railways signed MOU. That is, Indian Railways signed MOU with Railtel Corporation. So this Railtel Corporation will now manage this Railways Hospital Management Information System. Next is world's first 6G experimental satellite. So this was launched by China. Next is IIT Guwahati. So this was in news because of Australia India Water Center. So from Indian side, this water center is led by IIT Guwahati. From Australian side, University of Western Sydney will be the nodal authority for the collaboration between these two countries in the field of water. Next is Thawasami. So this is a book which was launched by Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu. And the author of this book are R.S. Chakradhar and it is co-authored by A.S. Dipti. Next is Vikas Bajaj. So recently Vikas Bajaj has been elected as the president of AIFI. What is AIFI? It is Association of Indian Forcing Industry. Next is 300 million doses of vaccine. So recently European Union was in news as it is going to purchase 300 million doses of coronavirus vaccine developed by BioNTech and Pfizer. Next is Project Future Ready. So recently NSDC launched this initiative. What is NSDC? It is National Skill Development Corporation. So it has launched this Project Future Ready in collaboration with Dell and University of Mumbai. So under this initiative, 1 lakh students will be given skill training and out of these 1 lakh, 60% are going to be female. Next is Cancer Sense No Notification. So this is a campaign which has been launched by Bharti AXA General Insurance. Next is Insomnia Army Stories. So this is a book by Rachna Best. Next is Dobra Chanti Bridge. So this is a bridge in Uttarakhand and it is on Tihri Lake. And recently this was inaugurated and it is India's longest motorable suspension bridge. It is important to note that recently Uttarakhand celebrated Statehood Day and it was on 9th of November. So 9th of November is the Statehood Day. That means on this day, Uttarakhand was formed. Next is 11th of November. So 11th of November was celebrated as National Education Day and it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. He was the first education minister of independent India. So these were the most important events. Now homework. Please read about TMT project, interstate migrant policy index and about co-lending model scheme which was recently launched by RBI. So that was all for the day. Thank you.